I'm making a hydraulic power unit. I was going to use this as the hydraulic reservoir. Problem is, I started cleaning it up, and I realized after taking the top and that off, it's the inside's pretty rusty. I got a couple holes in it. Of course, I think it's worth fixing, but I think I'm going to cut it off. It's pretty. It's an old air tank, uh, but it's pretty rusted inside. So I had to cut the end off of it, clean it up somewhat because it was was a few a couple holes in it, which I can weld up. It's no big deal. Just the bottom. Cleaned it up inside, good. Um, cut found a couple holes in it. Of course, I knew they were there you know, when I was working on the outside. Patched them. I just welded them shut. See, the bottom's pretty ratty, but it's all cleaned up. And I fastened a piece of three-quarter pipe thread on the the end, which is still pretty hot. But that part screwed on. I don't know if I need that part, but I put it on so I don't mess the threads up while I was welding. So I finished welding the tank up. It had a lot more patching than I th thought. Um, you can see there's a lot of... I think the rust was keeping it from leaking before when it was an air tank. But I got all the leaks. I tested it with some soapy water. So it sealed up pretty tight and I put it under about 80 pounds of pressure. So it should hold hydraulic fluid under no pressure. For, and once the oil's on the inside, I would think that would keep it from rusting. And I got the mount made also for the hydraulic pump. Which is uh, which is similar to what you would buy, but I made it a lot cheaper. And I also started the frame, as you can see underneath. And I'm gonna end up putting wheels on it front and maybe a couple handles in the back. Once it's all said and done so I can move it around without too much trouble.